Hey guys, and welcome back. Sorry again that my uploads have been a bit sparse as I've recently started college and I still have a ton of work to be doing. All my teachers really think that it would be the best time to put all my midterms at the exact same time and give me like three different research papers to do. It's amazing. It's total ass. Who the fuck let me take so many reading based classes? Oh my gosh. Anyways, I've been sitting on this idea for a while and decided to finally get it going. So all of these are based on when I first got into each of these groups and like who stuck out to me and why. So here we go. <laughs> So, of course, I'm going to start with CLC because, like, I y'all know why, okay. But when I was first getting into them, my eyes were almost always drawn to Sungyeon. I remember when I was trying to find new girl groups to stay in, and I watched a whole bunch of those, like, ranking your favorite girl group videos to try to find ones that I was like, ooh, maybe I'll stand them. And I saw part of Black Dress in one of them, and oh my god, Sungyeon was the center. And I just thought she was, like, the hottest woman I have ever laid my eyes on. Like, she looked so stunning. Her stage presence was really going off. And honest to god, she was the main reason why I decided to start standing CLC. <laughs> So I remember when I was first getting into K-pop, I would go on to the Apple Music. Yeah, at the time I fucking had Apple Music like a dunce. But anyways, I would go on to the Apple Music homepage and just listen to the K-pop radio station. And I think I Don't Like Your Girlfriend came up one time and I was like, okay, so this shit slaps. Let me go stand Wiki Miki. And oh my God, when I watched the video for that and then I found La 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 right after, I was hooked when I saw Do Yeon. My eyes went straight to her. She was just so fucking stunning. Like, oh my God, her presence was captivating me just so much that I was like, I have to stand Wiki Miki. And the rest is history. Ew, that was so fucking cheesy. My bad. So BTS was the first K-pop group that I had heard of, and like most people, I heard of them through Twitter. I remember in 5 Seconds of Summer, as y'all know, I used to be a fat 5 cell stand, still am, just a little more low-key, but anyways, they went on a hiatus, and like half of my mutuals became BTS stands, so I would constantly see them on my timeline. And okay, so every time I would see them, I would notice Jimin the most. He would come up and I would just like, I would just stare at him for a hot second because this man is hot. Like Jimin is pretty and he is hot. He just, he's a perfect combination of those. Like I think it was during the Blood, Sweat and Tears or Fake Love or both. I don't really remember the era. Either way, I think I did both. But I would just sit through like a whole Jimin fan cam like as if I stand them at the time. And I was dead ass just a Jimin stand for a while while before I got into K-pop and BTS. Alright, so this one, this was mainly just me being gay. Okay, so Eve really stood out to me because she's hot. What more can I say? I got into Luna around the time that the first OT12 album dropped and Hi Hi Eve really just... She really just owned my ass when she would turn around and walk. Y'all know what I mean? But like when she would move her shoulders like real, real hot like. I don't know. How that, did that make any sense? I don't really want a little clip of her doing it in here. All right. But yeah, I was just whipped when Miss Eve walked. Like that's how whipped I was for Eve and for Luna. And she was just so beautiful to me. And it really encouraged me to get into Luna more. Yeah. Okay. So I've noticed this trend that a really good looking girl will force me to get into a girl group and honestly that's just how it be for red velvet wendy was the first member to catch my eye when i was first getting into them the first two songs that i really listened to were rookie and ice cream cake and oh my gosh wendy shined to me in both of those eras my eyes would go straight for her i was really vibing with her and even if i thought her name was sulky for like a solid two weeks like i was like oh yeah she's sulky i fucking love sulky i was i was so dumb i mean i still am but like intro to k-pop maddie really just she was dumb but anyways wendy was really got my attention in the group where Velvet were my first ult, Wendy, kind of the biggest contributor to that. Although Yeri is my ult in Red Velvet, Wendy was the one that was made me just like, I'm gonna get into Red Velvet. Is it really a shock that Jui caught my eye? Like, she is really the most eye-catching member for all of the right reasons. 
I got into them around that time that BAM came out because I went to the K-pop store that I usually go to and BAM was playing on the TV. I really liked the song. I thought the members looked really cute. Their stage looked great. And I just could not stop staring at Jui. Her hair was so cute and pink and it made her stand out a lot. Her onstage presence was just eye-catching and captivating. I couldn't keep my eyes off of her. And when I went home to get way more into Momoland, I noticed Jui a lot more. I knew that I would love this girl in this group so much. Blackpink was the first K-pop group I got into, and Lisa was really the one that made me decide to become a whole K-pop stan. She looked so fucking fierce during the D4 video, and then when I saw how cute and sweet she was when she wasn't on stage, I was just like, God, I think I am in love with this girl. And then I got to see how talented this girl was on top of her being cute and hot. And just this perfect combination of Lisa all together, Lisa as a whole, just really made me decide to become a K-pop stan. I gotta be honest, I have no idea why it took me so long to get into TWICE. Like genuinely, I really only got into them after Yes or Yes, which was a good few months after I became a K-pop stan. Anyways... After me being dumb for a while, I got into them and Nayeon really drew me in and still draws me to her. Her smile was just so adorable to me. Just She just was the sweetest looking girl ever and she was my bias for a good few months. She has a super unique voice also which made me just a whole Nayeon stan. <laughs> When the teaser for Itzy's first album came out, I was just like full on ripped for this group, especially because of Leah's teasers. Her with the chains, oh my god, this girl had no clue the power she was holding. She looked so high fashion and beautiful, and I knew as soon as I saw that this girl was going to end up being my bias. <laughs> I wasn't really a big A stan until they came to Atlanta for their tour. I really liked black and blue and I saw tickets weren't very pricey for me at the time so I decided to go. And on God, I just like, that was one of the best decisions I've ever made since Ace are one of my favorite boy groups like ever. And okay, wow, wow, Mr. Wow. He really just, oh my god, he made me his girl that night. His voice, his dancing, his whole onstage energy just threw me for a whole loop. And after this concert, I was just like, okay, so these are going to be one of my old boy groups now. <laughs> and while all of the boys really made me excited to stand, wow, he just got my attention the most. And I love that boy to death. Okay, so I don't want this video to get real long, so here's just a little speed around of some of my other favorite groups and my initial biases. For Oh My Girl, it was Binny. I loved her voice. She looked so cute to me. I just was captivated by her. Gugu Din, it was so yee. She was just so pretty. Once again, another one of those pretty girl captivates me into a group kind of situations. Pink Fantasy, it was Yi Chan. Her voice really just... Oh my god, I did not expect that to come out of her. She's such a tiny little girl and she has such a powerful voice. And I was like, oh my god, got a stamping fantasy now. For Pristin, it was Sungyeon, just like Yichan. The voice, beautiful. I loved it. For G Idol, it was Soyeon. I knew about her a little bit before I started to get into them. Her rapping, I just loved it. Still love her rapping to death. For Pentagon, it was Hui. He was just honestly another one of those. I loved his voice, really got me into the group kind of situations, much like Pristin. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I think the most interesting thing that I noticed is that none of these are my current biases. I don't know, it's a little bit odd to me, but I still love every single one of these people I mentioned. Feel free to let me know who caught your eye most in these groups, and if they're so your biases or not. I don't know if that's just a weird Maddie thing. Might be, who knows. Uh, I usually have a song at the end of my videos to tell you to stream or to keep streaming, but my ults are all resting right now, so um, I don't know. Go back and stream Pepe by CLC, because why not?